Well, you talked about energy, and before we move on to Bavuma, I want to talk about the energy of Australia's little pocket rocket, David Warner. Steve Smith said at the start of this series he wanted to see Australian fieldsmen lift their energy. Well, there's no one who's done it more than David Warner. He's led by example in the field. His athleticism, his, his ability, uh, his pace to cut down balls, to look at that for athleticism there, to pull back balls. Ian Chappell said something the other day that he thinks he saves up like 20 to 40 runs in the field per innings. And then with the bat, he punches into the gap, he hits fours, we know, we know that. But he also likes to rotate the strike and put bats, uh, fielding sides and bowling sides under massive pressure. So I've loved the energy of the Australian vice-captain, but unfortunately, Ian Healy, it wasn't quite good enough yesterday. No, not really. He got it to 52. We were none for 52. And then South Africa's little pocket rock at 161 centimetres. Um, Timber Bavuma, who we've just talked about and just seen practising bowling, cut him down. You have a look at David Warner, very confident, going to take on the single, going to rotate the strike. And about halfway through, you can see him have a good look at Timber Bavuma. Where's he come from? And he really has to get his head down. See, the head's down now. Uh, we're about to see Kikiza Rabada, as Kevin Peterson say, come into pitcher and let the ball go so that... So that uh, Bavuma can get it and have a look now that he's really about to launch off that right foot, get his hips and back into it so that he can just pick the ball up and flick it without a backswing at all. He's been able to pick it up, get the back into it, leverage against that and get a throw that's fast enough to get David Warner out. I think he's, he's angled to the ball, then he cut into the ball, then his beautiful leverage to get that arm speed to beat Warner. Yeah, Unbelievable. It was, it was interesting what David Warner said in the interview. He said that uh, he, he went flat out. He, yeah. he, he, he thought it was always going to be tight. I thought for a moment around about here, he'd already had that look at Bavuma. And he's, he, yeah, he's sure he's going hard. But I thought he made an assessment halfway down that he was going to get there. Even though that he didn't expect that piece of brilliance to be able to pick the ball up and flick it all in the one motion. And even at the end, I thought we might have seen a dive from David Warner. He said in the interview it wasn't there for a dive. In the end, he was about 10 centimetres short. And how good is this split screen? You know, we see the absolute athleticism of Bavuma. Uh, he was running sideways, then he cut into, then he cut into the ball. I think you've, uh, I've uh, touched I think, the wrong I think thing you've there, touched Tubbs, the screen there, mate. <laughs> uh, and, and cut into the ball, and then uh, the, the skill and the anxiety of David Warner yeah, wraps it up beautifully. It was a brilliant piece of fielding, and as is often the case with great bits of fielding and runouts, uh, it leads to another wicket. It leads to trouble in the opposition team. And I think Ian Healy, that's probably one of the best runouts we've seen in modern times. I know that Mark Nicholas, Michael Slater, and Shane Warne have got a few others out in the middle. Yeah, the best.